Hello filmmakers, today we're talking about Final Cut Pro with 3D Focus Puller. This is a really exciting plugin that's going to allow you to accentuate any part of the screen with really dynamic handheld zooms using a manual focus effect. We can choose between shallow and deep zooms, we can choose left, right, up, down. We can stylize it how we want with glitches, prisms, grains, dust, hairs. It's just going to allow us to draw the eye of the viewer to anywhere we want on the screen in a really creative way. So let's get into it. So once you've downloaded 3D Focus Puller from FCPX Full Access, you're going to want to install it as a title file. This means you go into Movies, Motion Templates, Titles, and you paste your folder into there, 3D Focus Puller. Now if we open up Final Cut Pro, so you can see I've got this static time lapse shot from Iceland and it's really beautiful but it is just a bit boring, there's nothing happening, there's no movement and it could do with some more dynamic movement added. So to access our titles we're going to go top right, we're going to click these six squares and that opens up our left panel and then we click on our titles which is this one here and if we go down to 3D focus puller you can see here we have all of our options. Now these are broken down into three main categories, there's the custom and this is just the effect without any zoom effects so if you wanted to keyframe something yourself you could. Then we have zoom ins and zoom outs. Now you can see these are split up into deep zoom ins and shallow zoom ins. The way the plugin is going to work is we're essentially going to match one zoom in to the zoom out. So you see if we grab deep zoom in here from the centre and we drop it above our clip, all of a sudden that's going to automatically make that zoom in. So that's what it looks like. And it comes fully stylized out of the box. So you can see on the right hand side here, we have everything clicked. We have our defocus, our handheld, our prism, dust and hairs, and our film grain. If we were to take those all off, it would just be a simple zoom in effect. But I like it with the defocus and the handheld really adds like a real human element to the footage. So we can tweak these parameters how we want, maybe we could bring the defocus down a little bit if that's a little too much for you. And we can change the speed of our handheld shake and how much we want it to shake maybe I want a bit more prism on this and I quite like it with the dust and hairs so that looks a little something like this so that looks really cool so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to cut this by pressing B to get my blade tool and then I cut the title zoom in so if I place the deep zoom out center next to the zoom in center then it's automatically going to like match so that it zooms out from the same position now I'll want to match the parameters on the zoom out from the zoom in, so we changed a few things around. So let me just match those. So let's take a quick look how that looks. Really nice. Something else that's cool to realise is that anything we drop underneath this title file is going to be zoomed into. So for example we could drop an actual title behind this. And I'm going to change that so that it says visit Iceland. Okay, cool. So let's have a look how that looks. So that looks really cool. It's very stylistic and it allows a very simple title to all of a sudden feel really dynamic. And all we've done is drop two zoom in effects on the top. So you'll notice that it doesn't just zoom into the centre, there's several options here where we can zoom in left, right, up and down. So all you've got to do then is the same process, you've just got to pick deep zoom in right for example, and cut it to the length you want. And then I'm going to choose deep zoom out right, and I'm going to place it right next to it in the timeline. And let's take a look at that. So that looks really cool, instead of being a very stabilised gimbal drone shot, it now feels like a handheld long lens shot, very cinematic, and you can just see how this can be used really effectively to accentuate certain things in your scene, in your clip, with really, really easy controls. So we're super excited to see how you guys use this one, stay creative with it, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.